Hey guys, this is Dang87. Today I'm going to be talking about a reload system for your power up. Here I have a gun and it has a display showing me that I have 10 shots. Shoot off all the shots. Now I can no longer fire because I don't have any ammunition. Then all I do is pick up an ammo cell and now I have my ammo back. This will replenish your ammo regardless of how much you have left back to full. Okay, so you're going to need a blaster handle, emitter, notes for the display, knot gate, tag, and impact sensor. So to start off with, I have a very basic gun. It has a blaster handle and a microchip at the end, which has the emitter in it. Then I have a piece of sticker panel material with my bullet on it. So I'm going to take that bullet and emit it out of the emitter. First up I'm going to grab the trigger and place it into the emit once on my emitter. Then I'm going to add my sound for my gun firing, use whatever you like, and attach that to my trigger as well. Now inside our blaster handle we're going to get our counter, and we're going to attach our trigger into the input of the counter. Then depending on how much bullets you want, depends on the target count. So I'm going to have 10. Then we want to invert it. Then we're going to take the output and put it into the activation of the microchip with the emitter in it. Now we need to make our reload, so our ammo pickups. So you need something that has no collision so that you can walk through it. Sticker panel is good for this and then we're going to put a microchip on top. First thing we want is an impact sensor. This impact sensor should be set to allow touching and to be to all players. Then we want a destroyer so that when we pick it up it actually disappears and we want the destroyer to be a normal kind of disappear effect, we don't need any major effects on it. And then a tag and we're going to name this tag blue ammo. That's our ammo pickup done. Next up we're going to get a microchip and we're going to get a knot gate. Place these both inside the blaster handle. We want the counter output into the knot gate and the knot gate into the activation of that microchip. And now we're going to get a impact sensor. Place the impact sensor outside of the microchip, not inside it. We want this to allow touching and to be of a tag, and this will be blue and ammo. Then that goes into the reset of the counter. And lastly, we can add in a dry trigger sound. There's actually one included with the DC Comics premium pack. So it's quite a nice dry sound so you know you're out of ammo. Every time you try and click it, it will be out of ammo. So you take the trigger and put it into it. So when you're out of ammo, all it will do is click, 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 click. And lastly, onto the display to show you how many bullets you've got left. So I'm going to grab a note and I'm going to put it on my gun somewhere. About there is fine. Then we're going to edit the note and we're going to make it so that it's about five in size we don't want any background on it and then we want to be able to see it and then the format to be signal strength and max value of 10 then we just pop in our counter into the activation of that
and now we're ready to save it as a power up. I'm also going to move down the ammo pack so we can actually pick it up. You'll need to make some sort of emitter for these ammo packs. And I'm going to have it come out of here. Now when I pick up my gun you can see I've got 10 on my ammo. I can fire a few off and I can walk into the ammo pack and now I have 10 again. Uh, there are other ways of doing this. There is a non-ammo pack requirement one. So if instead you just want a short amount of time before the gun completely reloads so you don't have to pick up ammo, you can do this by getting rid of the ammo pack itself and the impact sensor. Now add in instead a timer with however many seconds it is before you reload. You want it to be a count up timer, so I'm going to use two seconds. Then we want the output into the reset of the counter and the reset of its timer, so itself. Then the not gate into the input of the timer. Now you just have a two second delay before you reload. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.